Hello and welcome to textbook engineering problem. Today we're working out of elementary principles of chemical processes third edition. We're doing problem number 3.3. It says the specific gravity of gasoline is approximately 0 0.7. Okay, so gas S G equals 0 0.7. Okay, so that means the density of gasoline equals about 0 0.7 grams per cm3 or grams per milliliter, those are equivalent, or let's say, or it also equals 700 kilograms per meter cubed, all these things. Um, Okay, let's move on to part A. Determine the mass in kilograms of 50 milliliters of gasoline. Okay. Um, the mass equals the volume times the density. Um, the volume they gave us is 50 liters. And gasoline density, we already said, is 700 kilograms per meter cubed. There are 1,000 liters in one meter cubed. That means there are 35 kilograms of gasoline. Okay, that's it for part A. Now we're on part B. The mass flow rate of gasoline exiting a refinery tank is 1,150 kilograms per minute. Estimate the volumetric flow rate in liters per second. Okay, so we're just doing unit conversions here, and you have to know that the mass flow rate equals the volumetric flow rate times the density. Okay, so the mass flow rate is 50 kilograms per minute. And if we divide by the density, we'll calculate what the volumetric flow rate is. Okay. So the density is 700 kilograms per meter cubed. There's 1,000 liters in one meter cubed. And we're doing this in minutes. There, in one minute, there are 60 seconds. Okay. Okay, so this equals 27.4 liters per second. Okay. And that's it for part B. Okay, let's move on to part C. Estimate the average mass flow rate in pounds mass per minute delivered by a gasoline pump. Uh, okay, about how long, we have to look at like, okay, about how long it takes to fill up a gas tank, I guess. So my tank on my car is like, takes like five minutes. So time equals five minutes. And uh, the volume of my tank is 10 gallons about. Okay, so then, uh, the volumetric flow rate is 10 divided by 5. Okay, but we want to know pounds mass per minute, so... Okay, so let's... About... Okay, so the volumetric flow rate is about 2 gallons per minute. Okay, but we need the mass flow rate, so we need to multiply this by the density. So, two gallons per minute. How many gallons? There are about 7.48 gallons per foot cubed, and there are 62.43 pounds mass per foot cubed, uh, specific gravity of water, and the specific, or the 
sorry, the density of water and the specific gravity of um, the gasoline is 0 0.7, so. Okay. So this equals uh, about 11.6 pounds mass per minute. Okay, so that's our mass flow rate about from a pump estimated. Okay, let's move on to part D. Gasoline and kerosene specific gravity equals Okay, so now we have kerosene specific gravity. Okay. Are blended to obtain a mixture with a specific gravity of 0 0.78, and this is the SG of the mix, equals this. Calculate the volumetric ratio, volume of gasoline to volume of kerosene of the two compounds in the mixture, assuming that V blend equals the volume of the gasoline plus the volume of the kerosene. So this is an ideal mixture. Normally, when you mix two volumes together, you cannot assume um, that the volume stays the same. So volume is not a conserved property, um, like mass and uh, energy are conserved. Um, so. You start off with a certain, mass of, a certain amount of mass of one thing, and you add it to a certain amount of mass of another thing. You'll have the two masses combined will be the sum of the components. Um, that is not the case with volume. Volume is not conserved. So that's, that's something that they're saying, assume that the volume is conserved. So that'll help us in our equations. We don't have to know some you know, uh, the, the non-ideal behavior of kerosene and gasoline when they are mixed together or something like that. We can just kind of ignore the, the more complex real-world problem here. Okay, so what we need to know is what is... So let's do this in densities. So the density of the mix is is 0 0.78, we know that. And we know that the density of um, kerosene is equal to 0 0.82. Oh, this is density, so I'll, I'll move over into units. Let's, let's do this, just say grams per um, milliliter. Grams per milliliter. And then we'll say the density of gasoline is 0 0.70 grams per milliliter. Okay. Now, if we know all of these things, um, if you add the densities together, again, the the volumes are not conserved. We can, but we can use this conservation volume that they gave to us um, to potentially figure out uh, the mass mixtures. Because what we want to know is what is what is the volume ratio of the two mixtures? volume of gasoline to volume of kerosene. So V gas over V kerosene equals what? Okay, well, if we can assume, let's start off with the equation that they gave us. So the volume of the blend equals the volume of the gas plus the volume of the kerosene. We also can use the law of conservation of mass. So we know that the mass of the mixture is equal to the mass of the gasoline plus the mass of the kerosene. Okay, and then let's use our last equation that is gonna come into play here is relating the volume to the mass. So we know that the volume equals the mass over the density. Okay, so let's start substituting in values here. So we know that the mass of the mixture over the density of the mixture is equal to the mass of gasoline over the density of the gasoline plus the mass of the kerosene over the density of the kerosene and get 1 over the density and then we've got a ratio of masses plus mass of the kerosene over mass of the mixture 
1 over density of kerosene. Okay, so we've got two unknowns in this equation. Um, we have this term, which is the ratio of masses, and this term is the ratio of the mass of the kerosene over the total mass of the mixture. Okay, um, then we need one more equation that relates all of these things. And that equation is our mass equation here. So if we do the same thing over here, we know that 1 equals the mass of the gravity over the mass of the mixture plus mass of the kerosene over the mass of the mixture. We know that that equals 1. So now we have two equations and two unknowns, and that's perfect. Okay, so let's solve for these two unknowns that we have using our two equations, this density ratio and then this um, um, conservation of mass. Okay, so the, you can use multiple ways of solving this. You can use substitution um, or you can use uh, linear algebra, use a, um, a, use a matrix, matrix method or something like that. Um, or you can use uh, subtraction or substitution or, or variable elimination. There's a ton of ways to solve equation, two equations and two unknowns system of equations. So um, I'll just go ahead and skip that part so we don't have to go through how to solve t this system of equations um, since that's uh, um, an algebra problem that you should be familiar with. Okay, and solving for this, the mass ratio of the mass fraction of gasoline is 0 0.3 and the mass fraction of kerosene is 0 0.7. Okay, but that's not what we were originally looking for. We were originally looking for the volume ratio, as you can remember right here. So now we need to convert um, what we know back into our volume expression. Okay. So now that we know the, the mass ratios here, we can just assume that we have a certain amount of mass for the mixture. Let's just say we have 100 grams. And then when we assume that we have 100 grams, it'll kind of make the math a little bit easier and we can figure out what the volume ratio is. So if we assume we have this mass of the mixture and we know what the, the volume or the mass ratios are, well then we can figure out how much mass there should be of kerosene and how much mass there should be of gasoline. Okay, so if we have 100 grams of the mixture, then the mass of the gasoline is equal to 30 grams, and the mass of the kerosene is equal to 70 grams. So if we know what the mass is, and we know what the density is, we can calculate what the volume is. So the volume, of kerosene is equal to the mass of the kerosene over the density of the kerosene. Okay, so let's calculate what the mass of kerosene would be if we had 100 grams of this mixture. Um, calculate how much volume of kerosene that would be. So the volume of the kerosene is equal to 70 grams over 82 grams per centimeter cubed or milliliter, however you want to write that. And that equals 85.4 centimeters cubed. And then we've got volume of gasoline, which is the mass of the gasoline or the density of the gasoline. That equals 30 grams 0 0.7 grams per centimeter cubed. And that equals 42.9 centimeters cubed. Okay. So that means that the ratio of the gas to the ratio of the kerosene is equal to... 
2. And that is the answer to part D. Great. Thanks for joining me on this problem. Um, if you had any questions about the process or how to do things, um, drop a, a comment in the comment section, and I will get back to that um, as soon as I can. All right. I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.